Chapter 6 Creating Zones, Sections, and Elevations In this chapter we will continue the design, place 3D zones, and also create sections, elevations, and interior elevations to prepare the construction documentation of the virtual building or the building information we have been modeling. Step 1. Creating Zones In this step, we will get familiar with zones and zone stamps. The zones can be created automatically. Their boundary is created along the perimeter of the walls with a single click. Zones can also be updated automatically as the design changes, so the zone stamps will always reflect the relevant information about the spaces and areas of the building. Switch to the first preset view in the Creating Zones folder in the Navigator view map. Select the Zone tool in the toolbox. Activate the Zone 1 Favorite in the Favorites palette. Make sure that the second construction method is selected in the Info box. Open the Zone Settings dialog by clicking its icon in the Info box. Expand the Zone Stamp panel. The Zone Stamp is a multi-line text tag providing information about the zone's name, number, area, flooring, and so on. Its preview can be seen on the right side of the panel. The Zone Stamp can be precisely configured using a list of various parameters about the name, number, flooring, area, and so on. Click Cancel to leave the Zone Settings dialog. Place the first zone by clicking near Label 1. Then, click once more with the appearing hammer cursor. The first click places the reference point of the zone. The second click places the zone stamp. Place the remaining zones as well by clicking twice near each label, from Label 2 to Label 16. For every zone placed, a zone stamp is also placed. Activate the next preset view in the view map. Place the zones called for by the labels the same manner as before. Continue creating the zones using preset views 6.1.3 to 6.1.6. .6. Make sure that the zone tool is selected throughout the process. Always activate the appropriate zone favorite called for by the views. Place the zones with two clicks for each zone. Notice that the 2D representation of the zone called for in the 6.1.5 preset view hides the staircase symbol. Let's remedy this with a simple step. Select the zone with a shift click. Right click anywhere to bring up the context menu. From the appearing menu, choose display order, send to back. Repeat this send to back operation after placing the next zone called for in the 6.1.6 .6 preset view as well. Continue creating the zones by activating the preset views 6.1.7 and 6.1.8 along with the favorites called for by the view names. Place the zone stamp and notice that the partition walls of the cubicles were not considered as boundaries for the zones. The reason for this is that these walls relation to zones were set to no effect on zones. Place the last zone called for by view 6.1.9 using the zone 5 favorite as called for by the view name. Activate the copy paste zones preset view. Switch to the marquee tool in the toolbox. Activate the single story selection method in the info box. Draw a selection area as called for by label 1.1 and 1.2. Activate the zone tool in the toolbox. Choose the edit select all zones in marquee menu item to select all zones. Select Edit Copy command to copy the selected zones in the clipboard. Select View, Navigate, Stories, Go Up a Story to go to the second floor. 
Activate the Paste command from the context menu to paste the zones into the second floor to their original location. Click elsewhere in the floor plan to finalize the paste operation. Activate the next preset view from the view map. Select the zone near label 1 and delete it. This area is a void on the second floor, so we do not need the passage gallery zone to exceed the edge of the gallery slab. We need a boundary for the zone to limit it on this floor. Hover your cursor to the left side of the vertical railing near label 2 until the cursor changes to a thin Mercedes sign shape. You have found a line. Shift click to select the line element. Open the line settings dialog from the context menu. Notice the zone boundary radio button on the general settings page. This checkbox is checked so the line will behave as a zone boundary. The zone will consider it a boundary just as it was a wall. Click Cancel to leave the dialog. Press Escape to deselect the line, then select the zone near Label 3. Activate the Design Update Zones command from the main menu to open up the Update Zone palette. Click the Update Selected Zones button at the bottom of the palette. When the update is done, the updated zone appears on the list with a status report about the successful update. Notice that the area displayed in the zone stamp has been updated automatically. Go up to the third floor. Select the Paste option from the context menu to paste the zones here as well. Repeat the same steps as before. Select the zone above the entrance and delete it. Select the zone of the gallery and update it using the Update Zones palette just as you did on the previous floor. Close the Update Zone palette. We are now finished creating zones.